the Papyrus of Ani. Have you heard of it? It's a part of the Book of the Dead. Very illustrative, to say the least. I'm going to share with you something that I wasn't expecting to find. Let's just put it that way. Now, I'm glad I finally received this. I picked up the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and this is the Book of Going Forth by Day. This is the revised edition. You can pick up your copy today. It's by Dr. Ogden Golette Jr., Dr. Raymond O. Faulkner, as far as the translations, Carol A.R. Andrews, J. Daniel Gunther, James Wasserman, and it's over 3,000 years old. These are hieroglyphs that are over 3,000 years old, and well, let me just share this with you right now, and then I'll get into the other details. But this is, man, let me just put it to you this way. If this is, I don't know. All right. Take a look at that. We just look at it. We just look at it. What is she doing down there? What is she doing? Oh, my goodness. Is this as he's crossing to the other side? Or is he already deceased? So, hello. I mean, that's some crazy stuff right there. I was not expecting to see that. So, very interesting to say the least. Very interesting. And it's referred to as chapter for giving a mouth to Ani for him and the God's domain. Chapter for giving a mouth to Ani for him and the God's domain. So there's two parts of it. And yeah, that's right. Giving a mouth. I have arisen from the egg, which is in the secret land. My mouth has been given to me that I may speak with it in the presence of the great God, Lord of the Duat. My hand shall not be thrust aside in the tribunal of all gods. For I am Osiris, Lord of Rosetta. I will share with this one who is on the dais. For I have come for what my heart's desires into the lake of fire, which is quenched for me. So, yeah, I mean, hmm, very, very, very interesting. But, yep, that's it. Now, if you go to the, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, it is kind of hot in here now. You can see it's getting a little sweaty for me. Uh, yeah. But see, see the one before that. This is, you can actually see, move this stinking microphone out of the way here. Woo. That image is actually the one that I just shared there. You can find all over the net. But the one after that, that's a little bit more difficult to find. So let me go ahead and read this to you real quick. 1250 BCE in the 19th dynasty of the New Kingdom of Ancient Egypt, Egyptians compiled an individualized book for certain people upon their death called the Book of Going Forth by Day, more commonly known as as the Book of the Dead, typically containing declarations and spells to help the deceased in their afterlife. The Papyrus of Ani is the manuscript compiled for the Theban scribe Ani. It was stolen from an Egyptian government storeroom in 1888 by Sir E.A. Wallace Budge, as described in his two-volume by Nile and Tigris for the collection of the British Museum, where it remains today. Before shipping the manuscript to England, Budge cut the 78-foot scroll into 37 sheets of nearly equal size, damaging the scroll's integrity at a time when technology had not yet allowed the pieces to be put back together. Well, now you can order this on Amazon. It was like less than 20 bucks. Or it was right around $20. Great buy. I'm glad I picked it up. But check this out. So I looked up who Ani is because I haven't heard of him until you know I picked this up. And the Papyrus of Ani, and this is a great website, go to it, sophiatopia.org. I'll leave the link in the video description box. The royal scribe, the true scribe, the Papyrus of Ani is the most beautifully illuminated surviving ancient papyrus and contains one of the many versions of the ancient Egyptian 
Parrot M. Haru of the Book of Coming Out by Day, containing spells mainly used for mortuary purposes, in particular the judgment of the dead, but also for various magical operations in this life like protection, morality, and the afterlife like transformations and ascensions. Hell yeah, that guy's ascending all right. Swing! The original Papyrus of Ani measured 78 feet long. Yeah, I just went over that in the Book of the Dead. Ma'at in funeral text, the book of coming forth by day on tome inscriptions. Let me turn this on real quick. There we go. Read all about it. Read all about it. So that's from Sophia Topia. This is the Papyrus of Ani. One of the just most detailed, highly detailed. Definitely worth spending a few bucks and picking up this book. And then this is a copy. You can see right here. This is a copy of it you can get on Amazon. And in closing, for the next podcast, I'm going to get into the number 42. And the significance of number 42. Remember, the, the number of all things. The, the key to life in the Hitchhiker's Galaxy to the Universe was the number 42 it took like two million years to come up with that answer and i'm going to explain to you why and the number 42 is also linked in the book of coming forth by day that's connected to the book of the dead these ancient hieroglyphics incredible incredible fascinating gems absolute gems priceless gems yet what does it mean and What's the deeper aspect of this? Now, one thing that I'm thinking, obviously, is the Egyptians, the only people that were doing this kind of stuff were the ones that were way high up there. You know, the royalty. It wasn't the average Egyptians that were getting that treatment. <laughs> so, when you read the Tibetan Book of the Dead, or parts of it, that talk about how when you go into the afterlife, your consciousness, there's six different levels. And the very dense levels or the hell-like levels that will freak you out. And you can get into that state by when you pass, being in a negative state when you pass. If you're in a very happy environment as you're passing and you're ready for the next level, you can go into much higher levels of consciousness or you can be rebirthed into another body again if you feel like that's where you need to be. So there's also you can actually even go into the God level. You can go into the, it's called God level. There's the human level. There's the animal level. And there's various levels. I definitely recommend also picking up a copy of the Tibetan Book of the Dead. You don't want that for after you die. You want to read it to know what some of the possibilities might be like before. Very, very deep. And I've also got a copy of that that I'm going through right now as well. And uh, this is it right here. You can also read uh, or listen to it being read by Richard Gere on YouTube. I heard it. It was, uh, I haven't listened to the whole thing yet, but he does a very good job, very calming voice. And it's fascinating indeed. So thank you for being here with me. Be excellent to each other. Question everything. What's your thought about that bizarre ritual being performed by the, um, I guess, what would she be called? A, a fluffer? Would that be a fluffer that was doing that? That was given mouth, as it was said? <laughs> uh, yeah, is that what they called it back then? Be the change you want to see. Leakproject.com. Bingo.